Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, Thursday, the 6th of April. We're looking at the Dow futures. Uh, just down a little bit, down 33. Yes, the Dow daily chart. Uh, it made a peak C in the Chapman Wave methodology. We always expect at least a D in a buy mode. It's in a buy mode now. All the technicals are good. Somehow or other, in the next couple of days, it should squeak over that peak C and go to a leg D. And then I think we've got to start being careful because already you've got the S&P made that fifth highest peak, uh, fourth highest peak at peak D. Uh, it's pulling back a little bit here. The few down, uh, the S&P futures are down six and a half. Um, it made a, a, that pullback yesterday. It had a candle that went to D, then pulled back uh, on Tuesday. Today, it's uh, down a little bit at the open. It haven't actually opened, but pre-opened. We'll see. Is it able to squeak above that high that was made at 41.33.13? Uh, on the fourth, we'll see. Doesn't I, at this point, it's in the rectangle formation that should contain the price. Looking at the QQQ, we're looking at the index 100 trading view. Got a 314.43 down a dollar 49. Also made a peak D. Can it go a little higher? Well, the technicals in both the SP, the Dow, um, certainly the SP and the QQQ and the Dow actually are all very strong. So I do see some residual strength there still. Looking at the IWM, that's weakness. Today, the futures are up 30, uh, um, the price is up 36 cents, pre-market at 173.99, but it's not a very good chart pattern. Gold has been on a tear and is holding the gain. I think it's going to be pulling back here. I've got this as a peak F at this point. This is where you'd expect some kind of a pullback. If you look at the dollar, the dollar is holding steady from the low of yesterday. It's at 101.90. Can it bounce a little bit? I'm thinking that they're either... Or sometime in the next week, I think there's going to be a bit of a bounce to try to get over 100, 102.53, 103, try to get above that. We'll see if that affects gold at all. And looking at crude oil, crude oil, I did my show just uh, um, uh, in the last hour. It will be repeated at 10 o'clock today. Um, and I was, uh, I did not look at crude oil. Crude oil is up nine cents at 80.70, just stuck at that 200 period moving average. But after a gap to have four sessions on the 200, not bad. TLT, TLT is rallying. It's up uh, 24 cents at 108.49. The whole area of 109 to 110 is going to be critical for the TLT because then yields come down if bonds rally. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Great programming here. Stay tuned for Tommy O'Brien doing the morning market kickoff. See you on Monday and have a great weekend. Uh, happy Easter.